This is just gonna an amalgamation, a compilation of the situation of how to screw First thing I would uh, recommend is get the, if you're really passionate about doing this, then listen to the music that makes you do it. So, it's going to get inside your brain, first of all. I'm watching the Steelers here, LeGarrette Blunt, has just rushed for about 30 yards. They're hanging in there, though, because uh, they're down by one point in the third quarter without Ben, so I thought this game would have went a lot differently. But let's get back on track right here. you got to listen to music to that, if you really want to hit powerful high notes, Listen to, I got a Judas Priest playing in my ears right now, but I can't even really hear what I'm singing. Because I got some raw going. But anyway, so here, here's what you do. You get the high notes in your brain. You hear it first. You're going to hear it. And then I picture like a, an elevator or some contraption that goes up and down when you are going up higher, 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 you're not like, ah, I'm reaching up, ah, you're like, the exercise I like to do, two exercises, people make fun of them, but you know what, F them, because most of the people that make fun of them they can't really hit high notes, or can't sing that great, I can't sing that great, but I darn sure I can hit some high notes, so I like to do those uh, type of things. And see, once you uh, start perfecting that, get comfortable with that feeling up there. When I say up there, I don't mean like you got a strain. Don't feel pain. And don't strain. Those are the first two primary rules of hitting the high notes. So these exercises teach you how to not feel pain. So you do like the... You bring it up and down and do all that stuff. Oh, Gronk got us! You knew it was coming. Gronk got us. <sighs> At any rate, now I'm a little dejected, but I'll still finish this video, I guess. Um, so go... You're rolling your tongue, or you can do the... And you can just see how that... Once you find that, you can go right into it, like... What was I going to say? I'm really, really freaking disgusted right now because Steelers were hanging in there. And now Gronk just caught one over the middle for a touchdown. Ah, let me finish this. He missed the extra point. <laughs> the kicker just missed the extra point. So it's still a one-score game. It's a seven-point game, actually. So, All right. Uh, what do we want to say about high notes? What kind of highness do you want to hit? I mean, you can hit falsetto, like, <laughs> That's cool if you want to do that, but I'm more about the power, so I'll be like, <laughs> You'll have to excuse me. I got Rob Halford screaming in my ear, Judas Priest the Sentinel, as I'm trying to teach this. I'm trying to be a wise teacher. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. All right. Well, let's switch songs. Don't mind me for a second while I switch songs here and put on some... Let me think. I also want to talk about holding notes for a long, long, long time, too, which I will do... In a second, as soon as I get... Okay. How do you hit those elusive high notes? Well, here's what you do. You feel them. 
You don't strain to get them. You should be able to hold a, a real nice vibrato in your voice when you have a high note. So you should be able to do something like Like ride, you ride the note. You ride it out. You don't just like scream it out and make it like I do. Some of these people say, "Oh, I have a range of four, five, six octaves or whatever," and they because they hit some half second note up with something like ah, something like that. I mean, come on, man, that doesn't count. You can, if you can't hold a note for at least at least five seconds, you should not consider that a part of your range because you're not hitting it properly. You pro half the time, you probably can't even hit it. Yes, I just said that. So, do the, uh, the main things I have to say is do those exercises. Those, uh, let's see this kick return right here. Hold on a second. Okay. Do those things that I said, like, like, and bring it low, too. You want your whole range connected. So when you go, and then you bring it to low like that, and then you can see that if you do um, a low note with it, you can turn that into a note too. I know that's not really super low, but it's pretty low. How low do you want me to go? Alright, hold on a second here. Alright. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm watching a football game, so I'm kind of distracted! I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to say. I don't think there is! Ho oh, holding notes! I forgot we want to talk about that. The only way to really uh, work on holding your notes for a real long time is to just hold notes as long as you can. Incorporate it, incorporate that into your daily practice. So when you're doing your oh, 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 oh then just turn it into like oh, 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 oh. stuff like that. Uh, and then I, I like to use a little stopwatch thing on my phone to hold, like, you, as soon as you hit the note, boom, you click the thing. I'll look at the little timer ticker thing here, and we'll see how long we can hold a note here. You, it's all about breathing. Of course, you've heard that. Breathe from your diaphragm, blah, blah, blah. It's all, forget all that. It's about just feeling what you're doing and doing it. So, yeah, relax your body. Let your, don't suck in a breath. Let your body take in a breath. And then just hold a note. So we'll, this one will be like, <laughs> that was what, 10 seconds, 12 seconds, something like that. Oh, Antonio Brown's heard now. This is not good. My friends, this is not good. Hopefully, it's a cramp. He's getting massaged by another man as he's laying down on the ground, so... <laughs> unless it's a, a, some kind of weird porno that the NFL is introducing, I think it's just a cramp. Let's hope that it is!